Folks, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Thought we'd take you through the shop today. This is our, our relatively new shop that we have out here. We moved in back in March and it's now October. It's been about seven months, give or take. And we've done a lot of stuff to the building. A lot of you guys are out there, whether it's a, a commercial building for your business or you're, you're building a, a home or whatever it might be, you're trying to make that decision. Do I, do I build? Do I buy? And for us, it came down to we needed something now. We didn't want to wait. The delays in building right now, the costs in building are just astronomical. And I think some of that has changed a bit in the last six or seven months, but still we're going to take you through, kind of give you a, maybe a different perspective on, on the costs that go into buying a place and then trying to modify it to be the way that you want, because it takes a lot of cash out of pocket to kind of convert an existing space. If it's not set up the way you want to, to make it the way that you want. And so for me, it was really, it was the right decision, but it came at a, a cash heavy cost versus if you're gonna build a place, you can put that entire wish list, you can kind of build that into the loan and not have nearly as much cash out of pocket. And so it's just a trade off, a different perspective, but these costs add up, let's take you through it. All right, so the first big expense was installing a fence, you know, with some security wiring around it as well and a power gate and all that kind of thing. And, and this was a really big, a really big investment for us. It was about $50,000 uh, to get this system installed and put in all the way around. This is a three acre parcel, not the entire thing is fenced in, but the majority of it is. And we're in a business park, but we're the only business back here. It's the very end of the business park. It's close to the highway. Um, you know, we had people around here doing things, dumping out trailer loads of trash before this was fenced in. We really wanted to use all this outside space and this is just kind of step one of making this a secure location. We wanted to kind of layer our security, right? And not that you're gonna prevent everything from happening, but if you can make it more difficult for somebody to want to get in here and cause damage, you know, it'd be, it'd be challenging, not that it couldn't be done, it'd be challenging to pick up some of this heavy stuff and take it away we still don't want them coming in here causing damage or dropping more trailer loads of trash off. So you're looking right up there, another couple layers of defense that we've added, some really, really nice, I, you know, I could have chinsed out, but I went pretty high end on my security camera system. You can see pretty much anything around here, night or day, it picks up on it. It can, it can track you, it can check out license plates, it can see details, all that kind of stuff. And these lights here make this place look like a Walmart parking lot at night. So this place is lit up well all the way around, same thing with the cameras, all the way around the building. So no matter where anybody might be at, we've got cameras inside too. So again, two more layers here with the lighting having it well lit up, security cameras inside and outside, plus the fence, that's all good stuff. Additional layers to make it more of a problem uh, for somebody who would want to come in here and, and cause some kind of damage. You know, and then even, oh boy, maybe two months ago now, uh, we had one of the sheriff's deputies out here and I had a really good conversation with him and uh, basically let them know they can come out here and do their reports anytime they want to. You know, it doesn't matter the shift, we'd love to have them out here. They're welcome to, to hang out in our driveway um, and, and do the reports and whatever else they want to do. On that note, and I told him this as well, we always offered 10% off to LEOs, to military, active, retired, doesn't matter. It's just a way to say thank you. And then we've also got a security system installed, you know, so for all the entrances, the windows, all the way around the building too. And uh, this has gone off a couple of times, um, incidentally, right? It wasn't, it was it, it, false alarms, you know, whether something just didn't get pushed right on the, the keypad codes or whatever it might be, but this is all something I can manage from my phone too. So it's just another layer of security for the building out here. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, we're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. So we quickly found out that once we moved in, <laughs> we, we needed more space than what this 20,000 square foot warehouse had to offer. And so we had this usable space kind of around the perimeter that was all grass. This is actually not on city uh, sewer and, and we have well water and a, and a septic field out here. So this front section, we couldn't mill and expand the parking lot, but this perimeter all out here, we were able to get over a half acre, almost 0.6 acres of additional parking area to store equipment outdoors as well. Now we did look into getting asphalt like what you see, but 
Well, it was a two-part reason we didn't go that route. One was that there wasn't a single contractor in all of West Michigan that would do it this year. They were all out in the next year, and we needed more space pretty quickly. And number two, um, this contractor that did this milling parking lot did another job for actually the electricians out here, and it turned out really well for their parking lot expansion. It came in at a cheaper cost as well. It does take some time to kind of harden up and really become more like an asphalt surface, a real solid surface, but as you can see, we've been driving uh, forklifts all over. You can hardly, hardly see the tracks that are in there. A couple spots softer than others, but I think it's gonna continue to improve with time. And so we went with an eight inch thick uh, material base, and there was an option they had for six inches or eight inches. I felt like eight inches would be a little bit more robust, uh, stand the test of time, and so we went eight inches thick. Again, somewhere between a half and 0.6 acres worth of parking lot area with excavation and everything else, came in about $40,000. So when we moved into this building, it had been sitting vacant for three plus years it was going to be well they were they were hoping to use this as a a, a a marijuana distribution warehouse or something and waiting on the township to approve rec use and whatever long story short the township still hasn't approved it for rec use which is what they wanted to do the previous owners and so they put it up for sale um, ended up having a pretty good price drop and that's how i came into it so it was a it was a really really fierce competition, fierce battle when uh, they did lower that price. I was able to be the high bidder and get it. Um, and I, I'm really glad I did, but one of the things that was non-negotiable I had to take out of my offer was having the uh, one of these HVAT, well actually that unit there, and then this whole unit replaced. Uh, these these units were stripped out for copper and everything else, because again, there was no fencing here or anything like that. And, and they had long been disassembled and gutted and whatever, whatever else. So we ended up having I think it was about $25,000 or so in new HVAC equipment here uh, to service the office and the, the smaller packing room that we have as well. You can see in the, in the background there, those units were sitting idle. They did need some service and, and minor repair work to get those back online. Those are our heaters for the main warehouse so that the guys can be at least pretty comfortable in the wintertime. And you may remember this area because earlier this summer we took the mulcher and kind of blazed a trail so that we could have this fence installed here and everything cleared out of the way. And that's kind of where we're standing now. So there's a lot going on here. They ended up having to bring in a crane just because of the awkward area, but a crane in the front parking lot to bring these over and set them down into place. And while we're back here, this is the backflow for the sprinkler system. Um, they already had a sprinkler system in place, but it was pretty much in disrepair at that point. So I had a new sprinkler system put up front. You know, I want this place to look good, right? It doesn't you know, I'm not making any money off of a nice lawn, right? We don't even have a retail storefront. We're an online dealer. You're welcome to pick up local, but I'm gonna get that front lawn in shape next year, get it dialed and get it nice and greened up and, and plush and looking good. And you know, that was about a $5,000 expense just to do that, but I think it's gonna be worth it just in the, in the grand appearance, the grand scheme of things over time. And then we have all the miscellaneous stuff that we tackled around here. You know, before we even moved in, every single light fixture had new bulbs put in. Um, just started over from scratch. There were so many bulbs that were out that you just knew it was just gonna keep happening over and over. So we started from scratch, had every single bulb replaced. A lot of the ballasts were replaced as well. Um, we did all fresh paint on all the columns and the bollards outside, painted all the office space as well. Um, had the doors even resealed just because we knew that they would get disgusting, just kind of the, the dusty work that we're doing, just the nature of the beast there. Uh, new carpet was put in up in the office space too. And then there were all sorts of just kind of the general electric work that was done, you know, moving outlets here, there for the different kinds of equipment that we needed to hook up to. Um, we had a, a couple different electric chargers for our forklifts that are moved in here, um, power banks for our foam packing machine that we pack our small stuff in. Um, just kind of miscellaneous things. We had ethernet ran all throughout the place as well. So just kind of prepping for the future, a lot of different seemingly smaller costs that added up to thousands between the painting, the flooring, the electric work, uh, the power washing that we did in the building outside, all that little miscellaneous stuff right there ended up being in the 10 to $12,000 price range. This is one I still haven't found the right solution for. Maybe one of you guys know what we should do, but we've got insulation, rolls of insulation going this way all the way across, but you can see right down the center how it's all ripping and falling apart. Before we bought this building, I guess there were uh, raccoons that got in here and just walking along back and forth and, and wreaking havoc, and this is what we're left with. So, I don't know what to do. Anybody got an idea? You know, and then we also, actually this spring, had this whole parking lot crack filled and resealed. You can actually see some of these cracks are still a little decent. It kind of settled down in there. I think we bought ourselves some time with it. It's definitely a lot better than it was. There were some gigantic 
gigantic deep cracks in this, but uh, got that redone, looking good. I don't know, I know we're gonna have to redo this parking lot at some point, but I wanna, I wanna wait as long as I can for that. This ended up being about, I think around five grand if I remember right. A few things left to do, the list is not done yet. Gotta end up getting some signage out here, right? Um, I mean, I'd like to put something on the building for sure, maybe out by the road. I'd like to consider opening for retail at some point down the road. It's just a, well, when you move from online only, just kind of like a warehouse distribution center to retail, it's a totally different game. So that's a big commitment, um, a big step. It's not as easy as you would probably think. But then I also, you can probably hear it in the background, we're right by I-94 and we've got a corner here that we could potentially, it costs a lot, but it'd be pretty cool to put a big old sign up on a, on a you know, lit, lit sign that you can see from I-94. It's just, it's just one property away right there. We could have a, a lot of advertising potentially, but I don't, even, I don't even know how much that would cost. That's gonna be really expensive, and uh, I'm not sure how long it would take to get the payback on that. And we gotta do a little bit of landscaping, mainly up front, kind of in front of the office there. That's been just the absolute lowest priority. We'll probably knock that out first thing in the spring. We might get to it this fall yet, but that's pretty low on the totem pole. So folks, we are a small business. This is Small Business USA, pretty much. We've got, oh, five full-time employees yeah, five full-time employees, another part-time, and then myself as well. So, you know, it's it's kind of run pretty lean around here. We try to be as just efficient as possible, right? There's I don't I don't want a lot of fat. I want to run things lean uh, whenever I possibly can, and and that's what we're doing. So I appreciate all of your support, and you know we do got to pay the bills. So if you are looking for something for your tractor, or your skid steer, your UTV, your ATV, we'd love to help you out. We sell and ship all over the country. Go to GoodWorksTractors.com. Now we sprinkle in these business videos now and then, but most of our videos and content are about tractors in use and tractor attachments, having fun with them and projects. If you want to tag along, we'd love to have you hit that subscribe button right down below. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Good Witch Tractors, this is Andy. How may I help you?